Hey Twitch, hey Cade. Sorry I'm late, I'm just kind of just figuring this stuff out. For those watching who don't know me, I am Michaela, but you can apparently call me Nicola, MK, McB, McBark, Honey Lemon, Bambi, uh, the list goes on. It's whatever. I am an avid fangirl, an aspiring physicist, and a dedicated nerd. I have my TARDIS of tea, let's go. So the theme of these vlogs on my end is kind of just going to be like something that I learned throughout the week. Because like, learning cool things is fun, right? This week's cool thing is a woman by the name of Emily Emmy Noether. I'm so sad that you're bad. I'm not German. I can't say German words. So Emmy was born in 1882 to a German Jewish family. She graduated from finishing school, as was expected from her. But she wanted kind of something more in her life. So she decided to study mathematics. Unfortunately for Emmy, this was in a time period where women really weren't allowed in higher education. She wasn't actually officially able to attend the university. She really just audited classes with special permission from the professors who were teaching them. Eventually, seven years later, once women were actually allowed in the college, she graduated with a PhD with a dissertation on algebraic invariance. What even? Is that? But although she was doing groundbreaking research and teaching the students who would be the generation that created the atomic bomb, she wasn't allowed to have pay or a title. She received nothing until after 1919. That's like 12 years of not getting paid. So why was Emmy so important? Let me tell you a thing. Even though Emmy was a mathematician, she just decided, hey, you know, it's kind of just fun to contemplate physics on the side, just, you know, for funsies. And she discovered that if a physical system doesn't change when the coordinate system changes, something has to be preserved. That thing? Energy. Energy is conserved. Pretty much the super simple explanation of this is just that a system can shift, stretch, or rotate, and the symmetry stays the same. This is the really cool one. A translation in time, meaning as a system moves through time, it's energy is conserved. She literally gave us what we needed to complete quantum mechanics. Literally, the poor girl just has to like explain how the universe works for you to pay her. I'll link a better explanation too if you want to get more into it. She figured out a whole bunch of other mathematical theories as well, most of which is just way over my head. But I'll go ahead and link those down there too, just in case you kind of have more of a background on this than I do, and you're interested. She did a ton of mathematical research until 1933. 1933, in Germany, as an educated female Jew. Thankfully, she was able to come to the U.S. She lectured at Brian... How do you say this? Tori, how do I say words? B-R-Y-N-M-A-W-R College. Is it Brian Maurer? I would say Brian Maurer. Brian Maurer. She taught there. Only a couple years passed before womanhood bit her in the butt again. She died of an infection after surgery to remove an ovarian cyst. And, in the words of Einstein, is known as the most significant creative mathematical genius thus far produced since higher education of women began. So that's this week's little fun tidbit of information. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Maybe I'll get better at this. Maybe I won't. Maybe I just suck. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Okay, well, now I don't really know how to end this, so, uh... Cheers.